All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today, we're going to be going over backwards jumping. This is what the backwards jump should look like. We've slowed it down so you, that you can see the mechanics and the finer details of this move. If you notice, my wrist rotations are the opposite of what they would be if I was doing a regular jump because the rope is going in the opposite direction and I'm keeping my back straight. Those are the two things to keep in mind and to focus on when mastering the backwards jump. We have five keys to success when learning and mastering the backwards jump. The first is to always ensure that you're maintaining good posture. See how my back is straight here? You have to keep your back straight if you want to get this move, otherwise the rope is going to get caught and you're not going to be able to execute any backwards jumps. Number two is to rotate your wrists up and back down diagonally. See how they're going up and then back down diagonally? You want to make sure that you master this or you're not gonna be able to do this move. Number three, you wanna time your jump with your wrist rotations. You see as I'm coming down, I'm springing forward and up at the same time as my wrists are rotating. And then four and five, be patient. This takes a little bit of time. It's a little bit awkward. So you just need to relax and practice over and over again and you'll get this move in no time. Let's look at some real time footage and see what this move looks like when it's going at its regular pace. You can see here, I'm bouncing, doing a regular basic bounce, except the rope is just going in the opposite direction. I'm rotating my wrists up and down diagonally, and I'm keeping my back straight and maintaining good posture. This is what this move should look like. So you may be wondering, why should I learn how to jump backwards? I'm gonna tell you five reasons here. The first is it's going to improve your coordination tremendously. It takes a lot of coordination to be able to jump backwards, especially if you're used to jumping forward. So you'll improve in that area. Number two, it's going to target your shoulders a little bit differently than a regular jump because you're having to rotate your wrists upward, which targets your shoulders. Three, it's gonna target your biceps as well. If you can see here in the video, it looks like I'm doing a half curl. Number four, it's going to vary your routine. If you ever get bored with jumping frontwards, you can always try to jump backwards and that's gonna vary up your routine and add a little bit more flavor to your workouts. Then number five, it's really gonna improve your posture. If you see me here, my back is straight. You can't do this move if you don't have good posture, so it's gonna improve you in that area. All right, let's get into the mechanics so we can understand how to jump backwards. So the first thing you wanna focus on and the most important thing is to keep your body straight and maintain your posture at all times. This is important for any jump rope move, but it's especially important for backwards jumping because the way that the body works is just going to be quite impossible for you to execute this move without good posture. You can't really bend over. You can't do anything like that just because you're rotating the rope in a different direction. So maintain your posture at all times, just like I'm doing in the video. Second thing. Look at my wrists in this video here. I'm rotating them up and then back down diagonally. You see that? They go up and then back down diagonally. You want to make sure that you have this motion down because this is what it's going to take to execute multiple backward jumps in a row. So wrists up, back down, up, back down. Just like that, keep practicing that motion. You also want to pay special attention to timing your jumps with your wrist rotations. So you can see here that I'm perfectly in sync. And when you make your rotations, you want to make sure that you look like you're doing a half curl. So you see how my arms are coming up like I'm doing a curl and they come back down and they're timed with my jumps every single time. If you don't time your wrist rotations with your jumps, it's going to be very difficult to execute multiple backward jumps in a row. So now we're gonna go through a quick recap of backwards jumping and we're gonna look at what the backward jump should look like in real time. So you can see here, I'm doing a regular basic bounce. My wrists are rotating up and then back down to my sides in a diagonal fashion. So back up and down diagonally. I'm relaxed and my back is straight. My posture is impeccable and that's what it's gonna take to do this move is the good posture. 
All right, let's close up with some keys to success. We're gonna go back over these again. Always, with this move, maintain your posture. Always maintain good posture. It's really important with this move and it's gonna help you improve in this area if that's something you're looking to do. Rotate your wrists up and then back down diagonally, the opposite of what you would do for a forward jump. And it should look like you're doing kind of like a halfway curl with your arms. Time your jumps with your wrists. That's important with every jump rope move, but it's especially important here because this move can be a little bit awkward in the beginning. Lastly, make sure that you approach this move with patience and relaxation. Those are essential when you're learning this move. It's a little bit awkward at first, but if you're patient, you put in the work and you relax and breathe, you're gonna get this move down in no time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude this week's tutorial. I hope that you learned something that can add value to your life, to your health and fitness, and to your jump rope journey and your jump rope skills. Thank you again for tuning in, and thank you if you subscribed already. Thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you can be notified every time we drop a new video head over to www.jumpropevet.com get on the mailing list to get free life optimizing material delivered to your inbox every week last but not least thank you very much to everyone who serves on active duty in the national guard reserves and i want to give a special special shout out to the D-Day veterans, both deceased and living today. We just celebrated the 75th anniversary of D-Day on June 6th. So going back through on YouTube and watching the videos and watching what those brave service members went through on June 6th, 1944, was a reminder that freedom is not free. So thank you very much to you gentlemen for what you did. Until next week, I'll see everyone later. Have an awesome week. All right, bye-bye.